YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, just got through doing some more work on this leather belt, I'm making for a subscriber, uh, some of you know him, um, but anyway, I want to talk about young people messing up their lives and going to prison, you know, a lot of times, they're not really thinking, you know, um, about what they're doing and even if they are they ain't thinking about the effect it's gonna have on other people and I'm talking about I ain't talking about little dumb things that all teenagers do I'm talking about the ones that are doing things that will get them sent to prison sometimes they may just be along with others that are doing this stuff you know but you guarantee that most of them, when they get caught, are going to try to throw the blame on somebody else. So even if you was just there, they're going to say, they might even say you're the one who started it. You know, just to try to save their own necks. But regardless, going to prison not only affects you, not only are you taken away from your family, your friends, missing holidays, Christmases, birthdays, weddings, funerals, missing out all and all the things that you should be enjoying, you know, at that young age. But you're also causing grief for your loved ones. It, it affects everybody. Just... Think of it this way. Somebody was talking about this one time, and this is a perfect way of explaining it. They said it's like throwing a rock in a pond. There's no wind, water's not moving. You throw a rock in the pond, and these ripples go out. They're big at first, but as they get farther out, they're less and less. The big ripples at the very beginning, where the rock goes in, represents your immediate family and loved ones. That's the ones that's getting affected the most. Next ripple, friends maybe, uh, close acquaintances, next ripple, the community, and so on. You gotta think about the victim. Whether you killed somebody or not, you robbed them or whatever, there's a victim involved. They, uh, and they have families too. They have loved ones. And people usually don't think about that. I had 29 years to think about that. I've heard stories. I've seen so many young people come in and tell me that they was just doing something stupid with some friends and got caught up in whatever it was they was doing. And they didn't, they wasn't thinking about getting caught. They wasn't thinking about going to prison. One of them even said, he even thought that even if he did go to jail or prison, that his dad would get him out. Well, the thing of it is, when you walk out in that yard, it's like Jay Walker said, he's one of the subscribers, old head ex-con, people need to listen to him. I still listen to him, and I love hearing his stories, but I listen to him. He said, when you walk out in that yard, your mama and daddy and your lawyer is not with you. You're on your own, unless you happen to have friends or somebody in there. You're going to be put to the test <laughs> one way or the other sooner or later. If they think it, they can take something from you, they'll take it if you ain't going to do anything about it. What are you going to do? You're going to tell on them? 
it's just going to make things worse for you. I, I feel sorry for those who came in and didn't have uh, the courage to fight or stand up to people. They always uh, they went to check in or they told this or that, you know. But you go to PC, like in Missouri, some prisons don't have PCs. The ones that do, they usually don't keep you there. They ship you to another prison. And people are going to find out about what you did. Trust me. I can go in any prison, just about any prison in Missouri, and somebody there is going to know me because I've been down so long. You know, I did 29 years. So I got to know people. So people get transferred here and there all the time. That dude's friend may get transferred to where, you know, you can't run. In prison, you cannot run. This is it. You gonna stay in the hole your whole bid? But anyway, um, back to the families, your family. It's gonna cost them money. If they support you, it's gonna cost them money for a lawyer. Money, if you go to prison, money to come and see you. Maybe money, you know, it's going to cost them money if they put money on your accounts, accept phone calls, all this. It's going to cost money, not to mention the emotional cost. I saw my parents age 10 years in one year. One year's time. I mean, it's just like they aged overnight. A part of it was because they didn't believe me and, and the reason I was there is because they didn't believe me and I had to take matters in my own hand. But still, I saw them age. Your friends, some of you, I, I, after I got out, some of my friends told me that after I went to prison, they lost uh, faith in the justice system. I know I did, I mean, I don't have faith in it, but it really messed them up that I went to prison, you know. And uh, it doesn't matter whether it was, what it was for, it, it, it affected them, you know. My brother, he was just devastated, you know, because he now, if you see photos of us, it's always him and I together. But, uh, friends, cousins, in the community, people that I didn't even know too well, they was affected by it. And then you got to take an effect that whoever you committed the crime against or whatever you did, there's always a victim. You're robbing the store. Even if you break in somewhere and there's nobody there, there's always a victim. And it's not only affecting him or the victim, but it is affecting that person's loved ones. And it just goes on and on. So I want you guys, young people, to thank before you uh, make rash decisions that may end you up in jail. Um, there's plenty of people that's always commenting uh, on my channel that have either been in prison or they have loved ones in prisons now. Listen to them. Say something to them. They'll, I'm sure they'll be more than willing to tell you. But when you get to prison, it's, it's a whole different ball game. You know, I've Ever since I got out, like I remember this one young guy saying, you, you was in prison, that's so cool. There's nothing cool about it. I mean, I, I almost got mad. And I explained to him, it's not what you think it is. It's not the movies. It's, you know, it's nothing to be glamorized or glorified. It's nothing to brag about. You know, there's a song that goes, 
I can't bear the shame. I'm a number, not a name. That's pretty much all you are, uh, is a number, another number in the system. And they, they call you by, in Missouri, they call you by your last name and your number. Hardly ever by your first name. And if they do say your first name, it's after saying your last name. But it's usually just your last name and your number. You're told what to do, when to do it. You know, you can only do certain things, certain times. Everybody thinks it's all about everybody running to the weight pile and working out. It's not always like that. Like in Missouri, at least in the higher level prisons, you gotta do 90 days in food service. And you may be getting up at three o'clock in the morning to do that. You have to have a job. It's mandatory you have to have a job. You, you gonna refuse the job, they'll put you in the hole for 10 days, you get out, they'll make you get another job. That's the way it is, you know. Uh, medical sucks. I mean, <laughs> medical's not good at all. Um, and most of them. Their cure-all is to give you some uh, Motrin. You go up there for anything, give you some Motrin. I've seen people go up there complaining of chest pain. They give them Motrin. They go send them back to their cell and they end up having a heart attack. Does that sound cool to you? Does that, is that something to brag about? And of course, I ain't got into the violence and the fights and, and, and all that yet, you know. Everybody knows about that. You know? So I just wanted to put this out there again. I know I've talked about it before, but I'll talk until I'm blue in the face. If it's going to help keep one person from going to prison, one young person. I'll just keep talking until somebody, you know, if it helps one person, then I've, I've done something. And thank you for watching. See you next time.